Hi, good morning, everyone, and welcome to episode 14 of Builders Talk. Good morning, Larissa. Great to see you here for the show. So today I wanted to talk to you about a role within your business that can bring you great benefits. So builders often have a hard time letting go of decisions and roles within their business as they typically started as a one-man band. And I often hear from builders' wives or girlfriends or partners that they would love to help their builder more but they don't know how to or they, I guess their builder doesn't let, not let them, but doesn't give them the support and doesn't want to necessarily help them or show them what they need them to do. And I was reading a book the other day by Dan Sullivan and he was telling the story of Michael Jordan, so the greatest basketball player of all time. But the Bulls, who he played for at the time, realised he couldn't succeed at the highest level by himself and that they needed a support for him. And I have spoken before about support and in a previous episode. So what they did was they paired him with Scottie Pippen and he helped Michael Jordan evolve from a one-man show to a team player. But Michael needed a who and that was Scotty. So who could be your who? So if you've ever read the book uh, Rocket Fuel, it talks about a visionary and an integrator. And I guess Michael Jordan was the visionary and Scotty was the integrator. So in that book, the definition of a visionary is one who has clear ideas about what should happen or be done in the future, one who has a powerful imagination, one who sees a vision, and one who has unusual foresight. And an integrator is one who integrates, one who harmoniously unites the major functions of a business one who keeps a train running on time and one who creates focus, accountability and alignment. And in a building business, I see the visionary as the builder. They have the ideas, they have the creativity, they are great at, I guess, having the foresight to see the bigger picture and the bigger problems. They're great dealing with the suppliers and subbies. They usually think strategically and can see the overall bigger picture. So my builder husband always says, they just don't see ahead of what they are doing. So I'm referring to, I guess, we build custom homes and he's always saying they just think about what they're doing now and what they're doing today, but they don't see that that can affect what happens further down in the project. They just don't have that foresight to look further ahead of what their little task at that time is doing, whereas a builder has more of that ability to look at the whole project and see what this will affect, what this effect will have on that thing further down the track, whereas, you know, someone that's maybe just your carpenter is only thinking in the mind of a carpenter and not thinking about the whole project and how an action that he may, may take on site today where he maybe has made a shortcut will actually affect maybe the plumber or the electrician further down the line. And custom homes, we don't have the luxury, like often project builders do, of building the same or similar home design twice. Each and every build usually has a different spe set of spe specifications, a different floor plan, different roof lines. So there is a lot of problem solving that needs to happen within that custom builder's business. I guess a quote that's from John Dinney, he sums it up and he says, how I see custom builders, or not, sorry, that's how I see custom builders, but he, he has a saying that says, how to keep moving in the right direction when you don't have a compass and there aren't any signposts. Every day builders encounter problems that need to be solved and they often don't have a clear and easy path to follow to a solution. But in my opinion, custom builders are working off the wrong business model that doesn't necessarily serve them and a new model needs to be adapted so that they, they can try and smooth out that path and have a better path and a more consistent, I guess, finish and have more consistency for the people that maybe are going to work within their business so that that path can become something that is a bit more signposted. So I've spoken previously about re reinventing the wheel and that frameworks are there to create cash. 
So say the custom, not the custom, say the project builders model, you might use 80% of that model and then use your 20% creativity, change that to make it work for your business. But one thing that builders usually lack in building is the business of the policies and procedures and the back office end of their business. Because the builders are usually the very visionary, they usually lack the skills in this area of the business. And I'm sure it doesn't come to any surprise to builders that this is where a lot of the shortfalls are within their business. And I'm sure you can pinpoint exactly those, I guess, places in your business that aren't I guess, up to the standard that you would like them to be. Got a few comments coming in here today. So we've got Fu on the call. Hey, how are you going? Um, so Larissa says, creating team and allowing support of others creates success, especially for couples or partners. You're right. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a second. Uh, what a great in inspirational story. I'm assuming you're talking about the um, Michael Jordan story. So I'll get back into it, but... So you all probably have stories in relation to what you thought the cl client understood as to what they actually, actually, I guess, got. And most of the time we can only blame this on ourselves. So this is where builders need to let go and turn over anything that is not defined within that visionary role. And this is where the reinforcements need to step in. And in a lot of custom home building businesses, this is where the integrator steps in and in the first instance, this is usually a wife, a girlfriend or a partner. And you often, I guess they ha often have a little, little experience in the industry and it's a very steep learning curve. And there is very little education available for this role, especially nothing in the custom building space. And this is where my specialty lies. I love being the implementer and integrator of the business side of building. And I believe women can provide the tools to reinforce the family's custom home building business. And this will ensure that the builder doesn't need to pay for expensive supervisors or the builder having to spend hours in the office. So the prevailing wisdom in the industry is to get off the tools and work on the business as opposed to, I guess, out on the tools. And this is the best way to grow your business. But I guess I challenge you to look at it in a different light. And if you, like, really, do builders want to be in the office? Do they, do they, do they want to be in the office doing the paperwork? Do they want to actually be the one that builds that business? They really want to be, they don't necessarily want to stay on the tools. They're happy to be on the tools every now and then, but they need to really be out on site. And I have spoken about the cost and how much turnover you actually need to increase to be increased to sustain a supervisor. And this might work if you do project type homes that are the same each build, uses the same products each time, and there's not a lot of much, I guess, problem solving that needs to happen on site. So, you know, I often say to clients, you know, this, I've got this tap and then the next client has this tap and it's like the plumber pulls it out of the box and goes, what's this? And you say, it's a tap. Oh. I've never seen this tap before. So it's they start to go, well, I don't know how to install this tap, even though the detail of how you install the tap is the same, but they get stuck on the fact that it doesn't look the same as what they're normally used to. So the builder has to have more problem-solving skills or, you know, get those trades to understand it's all still the same. It's all in the details. The details are the same. But I guess if you had a integrator type role within your business this gives the builder the ability to stay on site whether whether they're on the tools or whether they're just overseeing projects but they are the ones that I guess can see what's happening on site they can spot the future problems that may become costly that other people such as a supervisor don't necessarily see because they're they're sort of stuck in a different mindset from a business owner so the visionary business owner has a, does have a different mindset and if you are a business owner, you probably are aware and have noticed that we're all not made the same. So I was recently explaining to my daughter that we are all designed differently, that there are different types of, I guess you could say personalities. I don't know if personalities is the right word, but there are, let's say, different personalities in the world, like the visionary and the integrator. 
there are people that I was explaining to her, they're people that I would call the soldiers. So they're the ones that would go out and fight. There are the carers. They are the doctors and the nurses. They're the leaders, the ones that will take lead and make things happen, makes things happen, which is usually, say, business owners. And there are the workers, such as the ones that will do the work. And if you've ever watched ants, you know, they have the bigger that seem to be the directors, the bigger ants that seem to be, you know, keeping the smaller ants that are all marching along doing all the work in check. And all of these different personalities make the world go round. And if everyone has the, everyone, I guess, had the same personality, the world wouldn't function as effectively as it would without these different type of personalities. So I'm going to refer back to the supervisor. If you put on a supervisor, they may be, may have been a worker and they're not necessarily have the foresight that you have. And in the end, you end up in a worse position than when you were on the tools. So where does the integrator fit into your business? So an integrator has the ability to run the day-to-day operations. They implement the processes, the systems, and they'll usually foresee the ripple of the implications that the visionary builder would not necessarily see as the builder is usually focused on the bigger picture, whereas the integrator sort of focuses on the smaller, more intricate parts of the business to make sure that all those little wheels are working to get to the bigger picture. So I see the wives, the girlfriends or the partners as a really big asset to reinforce the family business. With some education into what systems and processes can support the builder, you can incorporate deliberate actions and accountability to keep, I guess, your big picture plan constantly moving forward. The benefit And if you ask my husband the benefit of having me in the business, that far outweighs the supervisor. And one benefit of that is that the income that you would normally have to pay that supervisor can stay within the family. So if you didn't have a wife or a girlfriend or partner that you would potentially put into that sort of position, someone to be employed as an integrator will cost you far less to do that role than what a supervisor does because you don't need a car, they don't need a mobile phone, you know, they're in the office, they're paid more as an admin type function, not as someone that I guess takes on a bit more responsibility for that role and they're not necessarily qualified enough to be fulfilling that role as much as you would, I guess, like them to be. So another benefit is the trust. You, the wife, the girlfriend, the partner, is probably the most trusted person in the world to that builder. He knows, you know, when you've when you def, you've got to define your roles really well if you're going to do this. But once those roles are defined and you know exactly what you're doing and exactly what he's doing, he knows that you have his best interest at heart. You are invested in making the business the best it can be and any decisions, say, that I make will be the wisest decisions. I'm going to hunt down the best price for the materials. I don't want to be wasteful with it, with our money. No one will take more interest in your business than me, your wife, your girlfriend, your partner. There are some challenges that come with this integrator, I guess, position and that bringing the wives, the girlfriends or the partners in, and that is that they have to overcome the fact that they're usually just being seen as behind the scenes and referred to as, the builder's wife. And I really struggle with this term because in some cases the wives may actually potentially have a higher level of education than the builder because they might have, you know, completed university and they were in a professional type role before they maybe decided to have kids and they're staying at home and they've decided that they're going to help out in the business. So we're usually the ones that reinforce the business and hold it all together with the builder often getting, I guess, the accolades or you know, if you're a wife that works in the business, how often have you heard a client come in and say, I want to talk to the builder? You know, they don't they don't say, I want to talk to you. They ask for the builder because they believe that the builder is the one that knows all the knowledge and can help them through that process. But you can learn and you can know and you know and you can understand what the client needs to go through that the The client doesn't need to necessarily know about, you know, how you're going to physically build a house. They don't need to know that detail. They need to know what do I need to look for, 
what specifications do you include, how much is it going to cost me, and all those type of functions can be done by this integrator type person. And also a lot of the, I guess, quoting and estimating portions of that can be done by someone else, not necessarily by the builder. So my husband's taught me what things I can do that can help him when he is doing the quoting process. He does all the material type takeoffs, the concrete, the timber, the flooring, the but I can do the things like how many toilets there are and how many square metres of flooring there is. So there is roles that you can define within your business that can be done by that partner reinforcing your business. So a lot of the time you may feel unappreciated and unnoticed. Guess it can be a bit lonely at times and not many friends are able to relate to you because it's work that's mainly in a male-dominated area. So what I'm wanting to do is start a movement to bring recognition to the integrators, the wives, the girlfriends and partners, and for them to find, I guess, a place of refuge and know that you're not alone and there are many of us reinforcing the industry. So I give you permission, and I'm sure your builder will give it to you too, to come out from behind the scenes and be seen, heard and recognised for the work that you do within this industry. So I'm starting a campaign this month because it's coming up to Mother's Day and it's called She Who Builds a Business. And this is a campaign where I want to recognise women in the industry that help run these small businesses. I see the wives as the ones that build the business and the builders that deliver the product, the home. So I'm asking you to nominate your wife, girlfriend or partner to be recognised as someone who makes an impact in your business and your clients' lives. I want to shine a light on as many as possible. So I will have a post up in my Facebook page on Builders Talk where you can nominate someone. And you don't have to just be nominated by your builder. If you know anyone other than, you know, other wives in the building industry, you can nominate them. You can nominate yourself. And I'll be, I guess, putting some posts together that you can share within your business that highlights the type of things that you or your wife or your integrator does within the business so that I guess clients will start to understand that there are more people behind that business than just the builder. So any builders that are listening, make sure you nominate your wife or your partner. And on, I guess, clarifying the roles between the builder and the integrator, this will help you restore order to areas within your business to reach your goals faster and give the builders the ability to direct his attention to delivering an outstanding for home for your clients rather than being bogged down on, you know, paperwork and getting stuff in the office and working on his business. Let the integrator do that. The builders need to be that visionary, that bigger picture person that, that, that says to you, this is what I want to achieve. These are the types of homes I want to build. And then let the integrator find the, the way to integrate your vision into the smaller details in your business. So my program, the Custom Construct Code, incorporates all of the aspects of building a building business and it is an ideal springboard to putting all the pieces into place for that integrator to achieve all of your goals for the risk that you take in your business. And the program will be available in the near, near future as I'm still finalising the program because I want it to become an industry-leading transformational project for builders in their building industry. So I've got lots of questions flying in here today. So I've got, hi, Amber. Let's see, great teamwork. It's an old concept about roles in family. New concept is aligning partners together intentionally and creating their own ecosystem. Yes, you're right. Larissa, that is a fantastic way to say it. Amber says she loves that. Fantastic idea. We all have our own genius inside and character structures over it that guide what people do. It's a bit hard, a bit small. I need my glasses on. <laughs> um, distinction between the bigger picture and the smaller aspects, yes, there is, it is. Builders just have the bigger aspect. They they just want to build. They want, they want to see the big thing come to life. They don't want to get stuck in the detail about what, you know, what what paperwork needs to be done. They're, they're not interested in that. And that is a, a big function in what an integrator slash wife, partner, girlfriend, I've got to come up with a better term for what we call women in, in the industry, what, whatever that may be. But anyway, until next week, Keep powering your business and don't forget to nominate 
any women in the building industry so I can put a spotlight on them and, you know, get clients to understand that there is more to a building business than just the builder. So I'll see you next week.